from Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, Connecticut. This is The Pulse. In the past five years, the amount of craft breweries in the United States has more than doubled, and now there are just over 8,600. The Aspetuck Brew Lab in Black Rock, Connecticut is one of the more recent additions to that list. Welcome to Aspetuck Brew Lab, first brewery in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut in 70 years. I'm Peter Coles, co-founder and CEO and brewer uh, for the brewery. Peter Coles had been brewing as an amateur brewer at home for about 16 or 17 years before opening the business. Here's what he had to say about his motivation for brewing on a larger scale. I had um, gotten to a point where I was competing nationally on a pretty large scale uh, in, in brewing and had done fairly well and had brewed a little bit with some commercial brewers and that really kick-started my effort into building the business plan and uh, building this out. Peter and his wife, both having business degrees, were able to seize the opportunity to make brewing a full-time gig. It only took about two years of planning before they were able to open up the Brew Lab, which has been serving the area for the past three years. The Aspetuck Brew Lab was the 29th craft brewery to open up in Connecticut, which now has over 75. When I asked Peter how they keep up with older companies, he summed it up into one word, innovation. It's a matter of keeping things fresh, keeping things, uh, keeping people engaged and interested in your product and in, 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 the, in the beer industry as a whole. One of the ways they keep their company new and exciting is through the Beer It Forward initiative. This is the Aspetuck Brew Lab's take on paying it forward. You can buy a card for the price of a beer and leave it for someone you know that needs it or give it to a complete stranger. They take paying it forward one step further by giving 10% of those proceeds to their local partner, Food Rescue Fairfield County. Our, our model here is, is we have, we have a, a small brewery, so we're able to play around with small batches of beer. And this is our scientific lab back here. Back in their lab is where they get to create all of the beers that are going to be sold in the tap room, as well as those sold locally. I asked Peter what it's like to brew beer on such a large scale, to which he describes the process as being very similar to the way he would brew beer at home, but of course a lot more challenging. One of my final questions for Peter was how he chooses what flavors will go into each beer and get sold to the public. Here's what he said. So we're always looking to do something a little different than the, what's, what's being done. Granted, IPAs are driving the market. We make, make IPAs, we do them a little differently. Uh, we're also looking to see what hasn't been done. What can we do that's a little innovative and fun and exciting, play with some new ingredients, experiment with some yeasts, and uh, roll out something different to our consumers. When it comes to drinking local, you get a chance to meet the person behind the creation of your beer. In visiting, it is easy to see that one of Peter's top priorities is in keeping a good connection with his customers. In our tap room, that's our social science lab. So we can test things out on our, uh, on our customers who give us great feedback. And we're always, we're always looking for their feedback because without them, we're not going to be around. And as for the future, the company dreams big. And we're tapping out our capacity here. Our next step is to partner with a larger brewery and contract our uh, products to really move it out to the, uh, to, the, to the retail channels. I personally can't wait to see what's in store for the Aspetuck Brew Lab. I had an incredible time visiting with Peter, and I encourage everyone to see what our local community has to offer by making a trip to the brewery. For The Pulse, this is Danielle Veroni in Fairfield, Connecticut. And remember, drink local.